No, I don't like drawing on its own. I like drawing for a story, but I never doodle. Um, and I was like that as a kid, too. I just didn't, it felt, it felt showy, it felt pointless. Um, and so you find kids like that, too, who are just like, well, I don't like to draw, except I have this idea for a character or like a place, and I want to draw that, but I don't like drawing otherwise. And it's so interesting that they can have this idea of a place or a story outside of what they think they can do or show off about. Visiting schools, I didn't know that was such a big part of the job at first. It's been kind of a, a learning experience that way, but now I think it's telling the kids that whatever they're doing as far as drawing or writing is completely valid. Like it's not saying, well one day you guys will write a real book or you'll draw a real picture or anything. It's the same thing. It's like there's no difference. No one ever is going to come to you and say, all right, now you're a writer or now you're an artist or now you're a draftsman or whatever it is. What, you're, what they're doing is just as valid and important as what you'll be doing as a professional. And that, that kind of is a meaningless line. And I think that would have been nice for me to hear anyway. Not that I ever felt discouraged, but just to think that as long as I keep doing this, it's just as big a deal as, you know what I mean? Like, as long as I keep trying for it, it's always going to be just as real. When kids are starting this stuff, they don't know what they can do. And so it's not about, well, I know I'm good at this, so I'm going to show everyone I can do it. They're trying everything out for the first time. And it's this really honest approach to the work. As a kid, the li I think the librarians, even just making the books available, we didn't have a lot of books in the house when I was a kid. Um, we had a couple of them, but for the most part, it was going to the library and just sort of going like this for two hours and finding these things and bringing home stacks and stacks of books and um, just the warmth that they would give that experience, I guess, just, I don't remember a lot of one-on-one -on -one sort of like, you'll like this book and you'll like this one, but just that they were, if you brought a book back, they were like, I like this one, and they're like, well, you should go to this section, that's where they all are, and you can discover these things. But now, working with librarians and being in touch with them over your own books and them telling you about their experiences with kids, they care for a much different reason than anybody else does. This isn't a hugely capitalistic business or anything. We're not all sharks swimming around looking for a payday. But also the librarians have this totally emotional connection to this stuff that is, is over and above what they would need to do to do their job. They just really care deeply about connecting this for this and connecting the right kid to the right book and understanding that that's there's not just one silver bullet book for all kids. Some of them may be a few books, really special ones, but there's also the special kid who wants this particular book and was really gonna do it. And to keep your eyes open as wide as they do to that kind of opportunity is just, I didn't know, I don't think I knew that they did that until I started working with them with my own books and then you watch it happen. And you're just thankful, it's, it's your whole day, it's your whole job every day is to kind of connect with that and to make it work.